Hello everybody, Chris Profi, Musically Obsessed. Welcome to the first episode of Crate Digging Discoveries, where I highlight an album that I found while crate digging. And what I want to do is, uh, when I highlight these albums, I want to make sure it's an album that maybe I wasn't too familiar with, or maybe I was aware of, but had never listened to. So, uh, you know, it's not like while I'm crate digging, I come across, you know, the first Black Sabbath album. I mean, I know that record. So the albums that I show on this series will be some of those albums that uh, were discoveries, pretty much. And the first one that I want to highlight is Cozy Powell's 1979 solo debut, Over the Top. Now, you might be saying to yourself, I recognize that name, Cozy Powell. Well, you should, because he's played with, well, he's a drummer, by the way. And he's played with so many people, uh, the Jeff Beck group, Rainbow, Michael Schenker group, White Snake, Sabbath, Robert Plant, just to name a few, but the list goes on. Just look him up. Um, phenomenal drummer. Now, this album, as I said, came out in 1979, his first solo record. This happens to be a UK pressing. This is what the back looks like. And as I was listening to it today, I discovered that this was on the inside. I didn't even realize that when I found it at the store. This is an order form where you can order Cozy Powell merchandise. Okay. Uh, the UK pressing is, uh, let me show you here. It's a silver label. And could this label be pronounced Areola? Probably. Maybe it's pronounced Areola. I'm not sure. But it's a silver label with Cozy's name right there. I love his name. I mean, who doesn't want to be named Cozy? All right, so um, as I told you, first solo record, 1979. Now, produced by Martin Birch. You know it's going to sound good. This is an all-instrumental album, and it touches on... All different styles of music. You get some hard rock on here. You get some blues, jazz fusion, and even some classical music. Some of the players on here, you've got Cozy on drums, Gary Moore on guitar. Now, Gary Moore was in Thin Lizzy. Don Airy on keyboards. Don Airy's played with a whole bunch of people. Deep Purple, White Snake, Sabbath, Saxon, Jethro Tull, just to name a few. And then you've also got Jack Bruce on bass, Jack Bruce from Cream. And then you've also got other players on here as well. So phenomenal players, all instrumental, great, great sounding album, seven songs. Let me tell you the name of the songs, and then I'm going to tell you some of the highlights for me. So... On side one, you've got Theme One, Killer, Heidi Goes to Town, and El Cid. And then on side two, you've got Sweet Poison, The Loner, and Over the Top. And I just want to say that The Loner is dedicated to Jeff Beck, which I think is pretty cool. So let me tell you some standout tracks for me on this record. First of all, I love Theme One. This was actually written by George Martin of Beatles fame, um, I guess it was used as a uh, theme song for BBC Radio. I did not know that. Uh, four on the floor, drum beat. Keyboards are very prominent. I get a huge uh, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer vibe on this. Thunderous, rolling, roaring drums on this song. Great way to open the album. I also love the tune Killer on side one. This was written by Don Airy. It's an upbeat, bluesy shuffle. Definitely some jazz fusion textures in this. And a blistering solo by Gary Moore. On side two, I love Sweet Poison. Definitely a, a big time jazz fusion jam. Each player gets a chance to shine. And then it ends with a song called Over the Top. Another jazz fusion jam. But in this song, you also get a, uh, a great drum solo by Cozy. And then at the end, they... Uh, play parts of Tchaikovsky's 1812 Overture, even down to the canons. So this album is all over the place, definitely for music lovers. 
If you're into all different styles of music, you're going to love this record. So happy to discover this. I uh, would like to know anybody else out there, are you familiar with this record? I know you're probably familiar with Cozy's work, but maybe not this solo record. So I would, I give it the Chris Profi stamp of approval. It's great. And if you can find the, the uh, UK pressing on Areola Records, that's always a great conversation starter. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching the first episode of Crate Digging Discoveries. I'll be coming at you with more throughout the coming months.